Football's about passion. It's a way of life. It gets you up on the morning. It's magnificent. It's fantastic. What a sport. What a sport. Big shout out to one of our awesome subscribers, David, who requested this Sega Soccer Slam uh, for retro football. So here we go. I did toy with the idea of including this on the old school playlist, but let's just keep all the footy games in one place, even though I'm contradicting myself because I said I would never feature this kind of football game on retro football. Oof, that was a mouthful. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's keep all these soccer games on the on the same playlist so like i say big shout out big respect to david david's awesome and david has requested a few games actually guys i've got so many requests from all of you and i love it keep them coming i'm working through them but there's like a list of 30 games now it's crazy but i love that you are enjoying these videos i'll keep making them if you enjoy them simple as that this is a bit of fun retro football here we go i've never played this game before <laughs> so this is a genre of game whatever this genre is i mean it's arcade silliness isn't it oh here we go oh i'm a natural oh it's uh <laughs> Your stereotypical Scottish gentleman. There you go. He's called Angus. You've got bagpipes music playing when he scores. So, yeah, going back to this genre of game, whatever it is supposed to be, it's the games, or rather it's the, the type of games that I've just not played in my gaming history, if you like. Because you've got Mega Man Soccer, you've got Super Mario Soccer, whatever that is called. I will take a look at that at some point as well. All of these types of games, I've never played any of them. So, it's interesting playing this. I, I quite like it, straight away, it's fun. I've got some reviews open on the other monitor, which... <laughs> that's what Circle on the PlayStation controller does. This is PS2 version, by the way. It's another one, Angus. Taps into the empty net. This calls for a wee celebration, apparently. Yeah, I got reviews, guys, if you're interested. Let me have a glance at the other screen. So this scored 8.3 out of 10 at GameSpot, PS2 version, that is. And 7.2 out of 10 at GameZone, and a 6 out of 10 at IGN. The worst version is apparently the PS2 version. So I've, yeah, I should have probably gone with a GameCube version, which is supposed to be the best version. But I like this. reason I have gone with PS2, guys, is because um, emulating PS2 is a joy these days with PCSX2. Oh, they get a goal. Because uh, we can upscale, basically. You could probably upscale GameCube as well now on RetroArch. I just haven't messed around with the cores enough. But it's 2-1. Can they find an equaliser? Can I score another goal? Let's have a look. So, you've got various power-ups allocated to every player. When you hold L1, you'll see my player flash. That's how I scored the first goal with Angus. And it's all very, very simplistic in design, which is intended, of course, because it's an arcadey footy game. Commentary is really funny as well. It's good. I like this. I gotta say, I really like this. It's a good request. Here we go. Oh, it's the post. But there's a but. There's a caveat to me enjoying this. It's good to mess around on, isn't it? For 10, 20 minutes or so. Oh, how much could i play this game or rather for how long could i play this game if i had bought this back in the day probably wouldn't play it more than a day or two they do equalize yeah 
I'm the same with, um, and loads of you will disagree with this, and everyone's got their own opinions. I'm the same with fighters these days. It's like, if I put Street Fighter 2 on now, I'd play it for like half an hour, and then I wouldn't touch it again for weeks or months. It's what you like, isn't it? But that's just what I am like with the arcade games these days. It's just dip in, have a bit of fun. I mean, that's what they were intended for, if you think about it. Like, going back to actual physical arcades. You wouldn't spend all week in the arcade. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have the money to. <laughs> but it is cool seeing these games on the home consoles. And I think the scores are just about right. It's not breathtakingly amazing, but it's not bad either. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's decent. It's fun. My goalkeeper keeps taking the ball out of the, his area. Like, handles it outside the area. Let's have a look at the other modes here, or one of the other modes. I can't see this being a long video. There's not a lot to say about this game, really. It's very, very, like I say, basic in design. But it's fun, and it works, and it plays a good game of arcade football. Um, what's Quest about? Quest for the Continental Cup. Okay, let's see what this is about. So, Spirit. These are your teams. Toxic, Tsunami. Toxic Tsunami. Sub-Zero. Oh, it's a bit fiddly here. The D-pad is for me. It's not letting me scroll left and right properly. There we go. That'll do. Yeah, I don't know what was happening then. Volta, which of course is what FIFA Streets is known as these days, or that mode within the FIFA games, I think. So here you can unlock your skills. Okay. Oh, you buy your skills, look. I have zero dollars, so it's not going to let me buy any of these. But yeah, these are your power-ups, which is interesting. Anyway, next match. Hey, what have I done wrong there? Oh, have I got... A, yeah, I've got to choose one player. It's be a pro before be a pro was be a pro. I don't think be a pro was a thing yet, was it? Let me know, guys. I love to be a pro. Um, so, yeah, just take control of one player here. So that's what the buy in the power ups thing was about. And then you allocate them to whatever player you are in control of, obviously. We're at Monte Carlo here in the casino. Arsenal. <laughs> I mean, it's cheesy as all hell. It's supposed to be, though. You're not supposed to take this game seriously. If you take this game seriously, then I don't know what to say. I, I'm, try I'm scratching my head at the Arsenal joke. Like, someone explain it to me. I, I know Arsenal, as in the football club, but Arsenal, what's that in reference to? You're going to make me look silly, aren't you guys? And explain it to me. And I'm going to be like, oh, really? Is that all it was? Anyway. So I've got to remember, just controlling Arsenal here. <laughs> here we go. Special. So, yeah, he's obviously got a different special to Angus from who I was scoring goals with earlier. I'm not entirely sure what the spotlight is about. Now and then a spotlight appears on the pitch. Have you got to run into that and then use your power up in the spotlight? I just don't know. This is cool. It's a very, very good request because it's something I would no chance. It's a go. Oh, it's a tap in. That was actually nice. But a team play there. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have dreamed of looking at this for the channel, David. So again, good request, mate. And I will take a look at your other requ requests um, throughout this week. I am getting through them all, guys. Like I say, it's a long list now. Oh. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. It's Kirill. 
it's fluid to play as well. It's very responsive. Everything feels nice in your hand. I like this fake beer pro mode. I gotta say, I need to do some beer pro for the channel. Actually, I might do that or become a legend, which it was called in pairs, wasn't it? But anyway, yeah, quick look at um, Sega Soccer Slam. I nearly called it Sega All Stars for some reason. Sega Soccer Slam on the Sony PlayStation 2. It's well worth a look if you like this kind of chaotic, ridiculous football gaming. Look out for more content coming to the channel. We've got so much planned. I'll speak to you all soon. Oh, hard luck. Let's see one of you lot take possession down there. You attack me, sir. <laughs> it's like the beaten ass of lords down there. A decisive goal. I simply did what none of you are capable of doing.